In June of 2022, a team led by Victor Pescavo would find a wreck in the Pacific Ocean. After it was visited a total of six times, the wreck would be identified as the USS Samuel B. Roberts, DE-413. The destroyer would be lost during World War II. The wreck would be discovered at a depth of 22,622 feet, which is over four miles beneath the surface. The previous wreck identified as deepest up until this point was the USS Johnson, which incidentally was sunk during the same battle. The USS Johnson is at a depth of 21,224 feet. The USS Samuel B. Roberts keel would be laid down December 6th, 1943. She would be built at the Brown Shipbuilding Yards in Houston, Texas. She would be named after Samuel Booker Roberts Jr. The ship would be launched on January 20th, 1944 and be commissioned on April 28th of 1944. The U.S. Samuel B. Roberts would be John C. Butler class destroyer escort. She would be 306 feet long with a beam of 36 feet 8 inches. Her draft would be 9 feet 5 inches and the ship would displace 1,370 tons. The USS Samuel B. Roberts would be powered by two geared steam turbine engines and two boilers. This would generate a total of 12,000 standard horsepower or 8,900 kilowatts. The ship's top speed would be 24 knots and her range would be 6,000 miles at 12 knots. Her complement would be 14 officers and 201 enlisted men. She would be captained by Robert Copeland. The armament of the ship was as follows. She had two single 5-inch 127mm guns, two twin 40mm 1.6-inch AA guns, ten single 20mm AA guns, one triple 21-inch torpedo tube launcher, eight depth charge throwers, one hedgehog ASW mortar, and two depth charge racks. She would also be equipped with SF multi-purpose radar. During her time in service, she would get one battle star and a presidential unit citation. In October of 1944, the USS Samuel B. Roberts was part of a task force named Taffy 3. The ship would be sunk during the battle off Samar. The task force had to fight the Imperial Japanese forces, which included its flagship, the Yamato. Samuel B. Roberts would make a torpedo run at the Japanese fleet. Led by Captain Copeland, the ship would launch three torpedoes at the Japanese cruiser Chokai. While under heavy fire, the Samuel B. Roberts would be hit in the bow section, among others. The Japanese battleship Congo would later damage her aft section on the port side of her engine room. And after sustaining heavy damage as a result of heavy enemy gunfire, Captain Copeland would give the order to abandon ship. The USS Samuel B. Roberts would sink 30 minutes later, leaving 123 of her crew members behind. 90 of the ship's crew would perish with her. The surviving men would float on the surface of the water in life rafts for more than two days before she being rescued. Today, the USS Samuel B. Roberts lies at a depth of 6,895 meters, or 22,621 feet. She is reportedly in one piece and has heavy buckling as a result of hitting the seabed full force by the bow section. The stern section is separated slightly, seemingly as a result of hitting the ocean bottom. The sea exploration team led by Victor the Sescavo would discover the wreck in June of 2022. Though the Samuel B. Roberts is the deepest wreck discovered, her fame will hopefully be as a result of the gallantry of her captain and crew as they fought the mighty Japanese Imperial Fleet.